They take their shocking nihilism about what's true and what's false, and they convert it to this entire Congress. And it all starts, of course, with January 6th, and before that, the presidential election. All starts with a big lie, Donald Trump's big lie. Well, they say, well, who knows? Maybe he won, maybe he didn't. You say Joe Biden's president, we say Donald Trump's president. Nonsense. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And if you think that the angry mob of January 6 riders were saying, thank Mike Pence, or if you think that that jackass parading rebel flag through the halls of Congress was singing, God bless America, then you're as dumb as a hickory stump. Jamie Raskin absolutely obliterated the GOP in a passionate and very much needed moment of lucidity on the House floor recently. Raskin ripped revisionist misrepresentations of the Capitol riot as being a leisurely stroll through the rotunda. 60 federal and state courts rejected every claim of electoral fraud and corruption that they put forward. 60 federal and state courts rejected every claim. They don't have a single court that ever ruled in their favor. Donald Trump lost that election by more than 7 million votes, 306 to 232 in the Electoral College. So then their big lie now has to stretch all the way over January 6th. We have to disbelieve the evidence of our own eyes, of our own ears. House Republicans are preparing to investigate the January 6th committee, which produced tons of evidence that former President Donald Trump instigated the traitorous mobs with his 2020 stolen election lies. This waste of time and clown show distraction will be led by the Republican from Georgia, Barry Loudermilk, who led a Capitol tour the day before the riot. Loudermilk, Green, and Boebert all gave tours the day before the riots took place. We saw them come and descend upon this chamber, this Congress, wounding and injuring 150 of our police officers, breaking people's noses, breaking people's fingers, putting people in the hospital. And already they're back on the news with big lies saying, no, 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 it was a tourist visit. Like these real tourists up here who have to come and watch representatives in the United States Congress say there's no difference between truth and lies. Real tourists who are not beating the daylights out of our police officers. Jamie Raskin lit into them and said they're back on the news with big lies saying, no, 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 it was a tourist visit. He then pointed to onlookers saying that these are real tourists and they came to watch representatives in the United States Congress say there's no difference between truth and lies. Real tourists are not beating the daylights out of our police officers. Now, so the lie now extends to January 6th. Who knows what really happened? Yeah, we all saw it. We saw the Vice President of the United States getting chased out of the chamber with people yelling, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. We had a bipartisan committee for a year and a half with more than 1,000 witnesses, 100 subpoena witnesses under oath, most of them from the Trump White House and the Trump family and Republicans testify about Trump's plan to overturn the presidential election and get Pence just to install him in office. And yet they're agnostic about, well, the truth and lies. Who knows what really happened? Who knows? Jamie Raskin is absolutely right. For members of the House GOP to entertain the assessment of a dog-faced pony soldier like Tucker Carlson is absolutely pathetic and wrong. Earlier this week, Tucker Carlson released cherry-picked video of the insurrection and mischaracterized the violent mobs as leisurely tourists on a stroll through dumbass gardens. What Jamie Raskin is standing up for is integrity, accountability, and responsibility. And what he is calling out in his counterparts is dishonesty, corruption, and greed. Everyone that was there that day knows that it was anything but peaceful. How can anyone in their right mind say otherwise? Tucker Carlson is a sellout and would have wet his pants if he had been there at the Capitol that day. Thank you, Jamie Raskin, for consistently speaking the truth. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.